Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? I hope you're doing great. As always, please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Check out the top right eye for another bunch of nice links. And also hope you're staying safe during this corona period. Uh, we're doing good. I'm working from home, so no issues here. My wife is working uh, at the hospital, so that's kind of dangerous, but we'll see what happens. I think we'll be fine. But you guys take care, okay? Just stay inside. Keep coding, all right? It's all you need, and you'll be good. So in this video, I want to start off by fixing something that I did wrong in the last video. So what that was, was this attenuation calculation. So you want to do a plus here. Okay, 1.f plus all of this. And then you want to add an addition plus here as well after this part, okay? And that should be it. And the lighting is really weird otherwise. That's why it was super strong because I had the multiplication going. So you want to do that. Um, and that's very nice. And that's very nice. If you go to your diffuse calculation as well, I want to add a normalize here because I don't want any issues from this because I'm adding normalize to just about anywhere. I am using the normal, which is good. All right. And then we we'll run this. Hopefully we'll see a lot nicer colors and a lot nicer. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good. Good. Now I have this texture going and it's kind of bugging me. I don't like that texture. So I'm going to remove that just for our, our uh, you know, mental state. To do that, we're going to go to our specular texture and we're going to comment this section out and we'll just duplicate that. And that's the part where we use the texture. And here we're not going to use the texture. So I'm just going to remove that texture part. But keep this line because you probably want to use the texture later anyway. Before we move forward from here, I just want to show you how that looks. So here we go. There you go. That's the specular strength, everything like that. And the further down you go, the more it kind of looks different. The further away you go, the more it gets diffused. So yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Now we're going to keep working on our light classes and we're going to do the best we can because we have a light base class. Now I just want to explain this before we go on. We're going to have a light base class which shouldn't be able to be created because we're going to be able to create point lights, directional lights, uh, all kinds of lights, okay, all kinds of lights, spotlights. So that's why we're just going to use that as a base. So begin by creating a class point light just as you always do point light and you want this to be child of light okay public light i don't remember if you just do that in i think you can do public i think so i don't know i'm forgetting my c plus plus we'll see it doesn't really matter right now because we won't be creating them right now uh public as usual good and of course we want a point light constructor like that good and we're gonna call the light constructor here in that so to make that extra clear we'll do it like that for now and then we're gonna want a point light destructor as well Good. Whoops. Always fat finger in here. And those should not be under private. I'd say they should be under control X those. Put them under public and you'll have your constructors ready. Am I recording right now? Yes. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Now what, what are the things we want here? Well, color we do want and we're going to do a, a float intensity as well float intensity color now try to remember the light structure here because we're going to have to create recreate this in the shader to be able to access all of these so remember what you're putting in here we're going to have to reuse that position is going to be in our private section here oh and we don't want private we want protected and same as this protected good position and then we want a GLM 
vec 3 and we're gonna look at some things now so i want you to go back to your shader and i want you to go to the calculate diffuse and i want you to see what is necessary okay so what do we need to send from here all right we're using the materials diffuse multiplying it with diffuse pretty much all we need is the color and the intensity pretty much that's all we need that's pretty much your point light right there so you don't need a lot more and a position as well your lights position pretty much lights color lights position and then everything else will calculate from there so go back to your light and just make sure you have the position and it's very easy this is very very easy creating this we're gonna need a float intensity glm um, vec3 position no uh, color like that this intensity equals intensity equals color very simple very simple now this is going to use the position glm vec3 position float intensity gl um, vec3 uh, vec3 color good 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 and we want to send in intensity in here and color in here as well very good now we're using vec3s for all of this which is all right because i think you want to keep it like that since it's all vec3s in here anyway so make sure to keep it like that. Go back to your light.h and then just say this position equals position. Good. And this is just raw data. All right. This is just going to keep this data for us. So we don't have to do anything special until we start rendering an object for light. So we might have a mesh in here that has uh, that's kind of a light mesh. And then we'll make a light shader which isn't affected by the regular shader. So we just have a white box, basically a shiny box, uh, which is emitting light. So in different colors, depending on the color you give in here. So that's kind of my idea right now, but this is just a setup for that. So once you're done with this, all of this, I want you to remember these values and I want you to go to your fragment core. And I want you to make a struct in here. Struct point light, okay? point light and it's going to have more than just the diffuse let me tell you that so it's going to have this ambient and the specular and all that stuff as well uh, since this is all what a point light contains but for now i'm just putting this in we'll add to this because we don't have enough time in this video uh, but what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a vec3 position and then vec or float intensity vec3 color okay so once that's done you'll have at least these three to play around with and then i want you to just close that don't forget the semicolon here you're gonna crash once that's done go in here and i want you to make a public function okay void and let's look at how we did it so we have some consistency let's go to material.h and let's see how this works so we have our private things our constructor, destructor empty. We want to just copy the whole send to shader function and put it in our light.h. Boom, send to shader, easy as that. To a shader program, and we're gonna send some stuff in. So let's remove two of these. And let's go to our ambient first, and we will, you know, send position first. Okay, this position uh, let's see. Oh, this doesn't have a position. Wait, let me see. This actually, what we're going to do is we're going to remove that and we're going to say equal to zero here. Uh, let's see. Virtual. Okay, so now this is an abstract class. That's very good. So once you do that, you have, you're have you required to create this function in here. So we're sending position in. And make sure it's a vec3 f which it is, which it is. And we're going to, instead of doing material ambient, we're going to do light point light, depending on what we call it in there. 
but we'll just keep it like this right now position position make sure you spell this correctly now we need intensity set 1f see how nice it is to have uh, to have this function functionality it's like it's beautiful intensity spell it correctly uh, and then we need color color vec3 color very good so now we have a setup where we can send this light to the shader okay and right now we can't have an array of lights but that's my idea as well we're gonna have an array of lights and this is gonna be able to work with that okay we're gonna take an index in here and depending on the index it will send it to that array so I'll show you how to create an array of lights and send that to your shader but that will be the coming steps so don't worry but we'll see that so remember you can do that that's not the best ideal way but it's a cool way to have multiple lights in your shader and make it a little more dynamic uh, but that's good now we have a setup for this color or this light class at least for the point light in the next video we're going to go ahead and add i want you to try this though i want you to add the rest of these by yourself so just go into this and see okay what do i need from all of these calculations in my light class and then in the next video i'll show you the correct answer and we'll see if that works also don't forget the change i'd made here i also have the change in the description that's good guys and girls stay safe during this corona times uh thank you so much for watching thanks for sticking with me Hope you're doing great. Uh, check out the description box. Drop a like, subscribe. Check out the top right eye as well. All that. Thanks for all the support. See you in the next one, right? Bye-bye.